desirability, feasibility, and viability need to be uh, fit, uh, need to be reinforcing, aligned uh, uh, together, and that is, uh, and then slowly optimize it. So the fit, uh, reinforcing, and optimizations uh, uh, can also be uh, um, structurally, architecturally look at from this angle. So this is uh, 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 this uh, very, very, uh, very important. Uh, 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 area uh, where you should, uh, when you design your business model, try to ask yourself, uh, do you uh, bring all these three together and, and uh, uh, you know, the reinforce them, optimize them, and, and uh, things like that. And this are uh, very, very important. And, and relatively, uh, it, it has uh, um, a, a rich uh, uh, domain. So we are talking about uh, a risk domain. Okay, so every operations uh, uh, has a risk domain, and and every operations uh, involves cost, and every operations how fast you want to make it happen, and so the uh, the time uh, perspective is another issue. Okay, and that will determines your investment and determines your structures of your organization and and uh, and the risk perspective, right? So operation. Uh, operational risk, operational effect, efficiency, uh, operational uh, defects, and operational costs, and all these are overall equipment effectiveness OEE that I have just uh, explained to you uh, one hour ago. Okay, so these are the uh, business model. So we we can uh, sit down and uh, critique on the design of your business model based on all these criteria. Okay. And 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 uh, uh, things like that, and then slowly, slowly, all this business, all this mis business model, uh, because of artificial intelligence, and because of the blockchains, and because of the Internet of Things, and this uh, slowly, slowly, all these uh, uh, business uh, uh, models get into, uh, 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 you know, uh, ecosystem. So we we can therefore uh, expand uh, expand uh, business uh, uh, model of one enterprise into into a, uh, a computerized networking system, okay, and, and uh, notes and strength, right? Notes and strength, a note, a note, a note, a note, a note, and then the, the strength and, and, and the speed and the qualities and, the, you know, things like that. And so therefore we're talking about supply ecosystem and your individual operations management system, which is a node and then the consumptions ecosystem. So we're talking about a note to all the supply side uh, and a note to all the demand side. So it's an input uh, node to the process. So it's a neural network system. It's an artificial neural network. So, so eventually in the world, the whole world will be artificial intelligence uh, system. Okay, and, and all this uh, data is uh, uh, consolidated through the crop system. Okay, so the data and business analytics uh, uh, and intelligence platform in the, uh, in the crops, uh, IoT crop system. And, and, and IoT uh, uh, operation systems and the operating through the blockchain security and uh, and the crowd computing system and things like that. And that is the place where we can genuinely uh, and unlimitedly uh, expand our boundary. So we actualize our boundary and this is suddenly a very holistic uh, 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 strategy. Uh, competitive strategies that allow us to spread across every way in the world seamlessly at the very minimum cost because internet, uh, right, is very minimum cost, almost uh, very li little little money, right, very uh, uh, little amount of money, and and uh, maybe the only the uh, database, right, that you need to spend a lot of money, uh, things like that. So this uh, 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 boundary spanning actualizations will therefore become another. Uh, another uh, area of competitive strategy. So we're not talking about, we're not talking about differentiation. We are not talking about cost leadership. Uh, uh, differentiation is like, I, you know, hi, I'm different. Hi, I'm different. But we are talking about, you know, controlling the whole world. So if I can control the whole world, what do you mean by differentiation to so cost leadership? I'm controlling the whole world. I'm able to span across the whole world. Uh, that is even more disastrous, okay? And things, and that needs combinations of strategy uh, and, and competitive 
core business competencies, distinct, very unique competencies that nobody else has and you have, and, and some competence that and not only you have and somebody else don't have, uh, uh, but you can make use of what you have and what don't other people don't have to, to, to run your business and spend your market, that's core. So core, the differences between core and distinctive is in the way of the ability to expand the market. In that particular, in that particular sense, and through this boundary expansion, expanding actualizations uh, through the IOTs and blockchain and cloud computing, uh, and then we are able to generate, uh, we are able to create a new concept called value co-creation. So everybody comes and value co-creating. So for example, O to O. You know, for example, in, in, in Thailand, uh, we have a lot of O2O, like right? offline to online, online to offline, and we have uh, those, uh, uh, those uh, uh, great food and whatever. I mean, if we can use artificial intelligence, that we can, well, maybe not in artificial intelligence, just use the normal, normal uh, Excel intelligence, okay? We can, we, can, uh, we can even feedback, we can value call creation, we can feedback all the information to different uh, different, uh, we can analyze them, so we can feedback all this information and to tell and to give it to uh, and to show it and present to our uh, a restaurant and the re different restaurants will pick up all this uh, uh, information and then start to motivate themselves and generate more and more, innovate more and more to, uh, food manuals. And that, that, is, that is called value for creations, right? But, but how many of us are doing it or are they are we doing it now and there's some things that i that uh that you need to do research right so these are the these are the things that we are talking about competitive strategy of value co-creation so it's not about it's not about differentiation it's not about uh, uh, you, uh, uh, cost leadership. It is, it is value core creation. So we are focusing on co value core creation. And if that value core creation, if we can value core creation, that value core creation is already uniquely positioning itself in the industry. So it is the unique positioning that is the requirements for competitive advantage and not the differentiation and the cost leadership. So we are transcending. Uh, the competitive advantages and differentiations into a more general, even a more general term, activity-oriented term, not in the manifestations of a, of a shift, which is like a, a leadership, uh, cost leaderships or differentiation. We're talking about activities positioning. So through activity positioning, we are we everybody know that you know uh, everybody jumps into that Alibaba platform. Uh, everybody jumps to the uh, that platforms will be able to, you know, get connected to all over the world. I, it becomes convenience. I can buy, I can purchase, you know, and, uh, I can purchase all the study. So if you, if you go to, uh, for example, you know, if you go to uh, uh, try uh, this uh, uh, MBA Zikou, right, uh, Chinese, uh, 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 this uh, MBA, MBA Zikou, uh, and, and, and I mean, you can read all this, uh, a lot of ideas better than the textbook, you know, uh, from Beijing University, from, from, uh, from this uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong Da Xue, and from the, uh, you know, Hangzhou uh, uh, and, and, and uh, uh, universities and so on and so forth. And, and, and uh, free, almost, almost free. You know, you, if you don't want to pay money and have it, it's almost free. And, and, uh, and, 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 and and uh, if you want to learn the uh, new neural network programming and artificial intelligence, you can go to uh, uh, log into MIT, uh, Massachusetts Institute of Technologies, and almost free. So uh, everybody jumps into the platform. I don't care, you know, differentiation. What that is? What what is differentiations to me? I'm already in the platforms so that make me convenient. So we are talking about log, uh, talking about uh, uh, convenience, logistic convenience, digital convenience. We are not talking about logistic convenience anymore. We're talking about digital convenience. So in the future, the logistic uh, maybe disappear and transform into digital <laughs> digital uh, digitization. Okay, and which I have uh, make a presentations to uh, one of the groups in uh, when I was a keynote in India. I, I told them that uh, I presented that uh, the, the uh, logistics and supply chains are, uh, are certainly very important, but the, uh, the slowly, slowly being taken over by the so-called uh, digital logistics. And 
and uh, things like that. Okay, so uh, blockchain is uh, very powerful, and I think we all know that, and we should be able to continue to use that, and because uh, uh, it can be a secure, robust platform for us to seamlessly uh, transact our, our all activities in a confident way, and uh, and uh, Sir Yam Cement uh, groups has already utilized the blockchains in certain dimensions, and they. Uh, demonstrated that it can reduce the cost because the because it can reduce the paper uh, processings and it can reduce the trading uh, costs and exchanges of informations and duplications of information and things like that. And and, and strategies are as I already demonstrated demonstrated in various different area, but it depends on how you explore it. Okay, if you don't explore it, then uh, I cannot uh, I do not know how to give you an A. So uh, that's why the, the assignments, uh, no, no one gets A, because I, I see a lot of explanation, but I don't, I don't understand where is the, I don't get, seems to see is, is, uh, where, 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 where is your position uh, in, uh, 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 you know, uh, in uh, things uh, very clearly. And it seems like a lot of discussion and uh, every discussion is like uh, uh, everywhere, you know, so it looks like the, the whole world's knowledge is, uh, you're trying to explain the whole world's knowledge, but, but I don't see where, where exactly you're trying to say uh, and how to link. And, and uh, so be specific, okay, uh, be specific. Uh, uh, don't, don't need to go, go to the, uh, 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 I mean, the, the whole, whole world uh, things, uh, you know, uh, but, but, but please uh, be specific and be sharp. That would uh, give you the advantages. So strategies can manifest in different forms and different sources and depends on how you combine them and interact them and, and make it into the usage. Right? As I already just explained it to you, the digital logistics and this uh, uh, platform-based, ecological platform-based uh, uh, value co-creations as another form of positioning and competitive advantages. And and uh, and not localized uh, differentiations and and cost leadership. It's cost is no meaning, right? When you talk about um, value co creation in in a in an ecological uh, artificial intelligence network system, and and so uh, so uh, don't don't stop, don't stick to uh, you know the, the mentor model. So, and we have so many mentor models, and the engine is only another uh, set of mentor models, and uh, more than that, right? So we're talking about value differentiation, uh, uh, things, dynamic capabilities, ability to sense and, and seize and reconfigure in a more holistic way and a, uh, reconfigurations of business model through fit, reinforcing optimizations and continuity and things like that. And, and your virtues of love and virtues of caring, your, your morality, your virtue, virtue, your, your virtues of value co-creations, uh, your virtues of, of value co-creations or your virtue uh, virtual, virtual, right? So for example, of the, uh, for example, example, okay, of the, of the, of the, of the uh, uh, positive uh, sum game, okay, rather than, uh, or, 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 or value co-creation, value uh, co co-creation, co right? This is a, a, a value co-creation, right? Okay, this is a, a color, co Collective uh, uh, caring, okay, uh, or, or, or or things like that. What is uh, uh, some of the uh, some of the uh, uh, issue, okay, on on st st uh, on the strategy? Uh, you can uh, you can uh, 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 positioning yourself uniquely uh, in a way that can sustain your revenue, okay, uh, uh, and things like that. And leaderships. Uh, innovations and things like that, okay? Well, there are so many sources and so many ways you, if you can uh, present it correctly. And uh, so in another, uh, uh, in kind of uh, another 15 minutes, probably you can draw a conclusion. Uh, and uh, uh, overall, we are in a context of VUCA, right? Volatiles and complexities and things like that. And uh, this complexity is complex world. If you look carefully, uh, uh, we are living in a, uh, even though we are in a complex world, but actually the complexities can be understood through this complex uh, adaptable systems uh, model. So people have already uh, 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 looked at the complexities of the world and 
uh, understand that uh, maybe uh, uh, we can easily deal with the complexity through artificial intelligence and uh, and IOTs and boundary spanning and and in the concepts of complex adaptive systems where you have all kinds of uh, inputs, okay, whether uh, from information or energies or matters, uh, uh, you know, electricities or energies uh, or maybe energies from the sense of human being contributing it or metals in the sense of raw materials and, and then uh, checks on into your systems. And then you have set up regulations rules, which is your strategy uh, and, and uh, artificial intelligence uh, may be able to help you uh, learn and, and, and store all the rules. And then the, the sensors uh, will detect this and transfer the si signal to the rules. And from there, it can govern how we can control the uh, 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 make a contribution to the world <coughs> and and then we can uh, feedback and and uh, uh, produce uh, adjust our systems uh, and, uh, generate our capabilities automatically and that is called reproduction so system is just like a metabolic uh, uh, reproduction system uh, continuing adapting to all these uh, 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 world environment okay things like that so we kind of continuous evolve and that that, that is uh, across the, uh, our uh, social network space and, and also it, it happens at different scale. So this is a very complicated, uh, very complicated uh, system uh, uh, natures of uh, complexity in which you can actually uh, simplify it. So no matter, uh, no matter uh, how complicated the things are such as COVID-19, the COVID uh, bacteria, they're also the same thing. So for example, this is COVID. Uh, COVID and the COVID will take uh, the information from, from outside and take the energy from outside, take the matter from outside and go into their uh, uh, reproduction and, and metabolic system and generate a new generations of the cells and or attack uh, the human body and things like that. So uh, in conclusion, uh, there is no difference between uh, COVID-19 behaviors and human and human uh, behaviors and uh, and uh, world behavior. So do not look down upon any uh, animals or human beings or even uh, the COVID cells and things, uh, uh, this, this uh, virus and things like that's all behaving in a very complex uh, adaptive systems model that can itself regenerate and reproduce and metabolically uh, regenerate. So we're talking about uh, regenerations and uh, auto production of this uh, issue. And all this, uh, all this, uh, you know, getting more and more complicated, and, and uh, so hopefully the artificial intelligence can help out, help us uh, learn uh, the rules. And and uh, I'll just give you an example in terms of the SSP ones or SSP uh, two or SSSP three things like that. Uh, the whether the strategies or structures, they are all rules. They are all rules. So I'm just trying to demonstrate that this. Uh, uh, strategy, the rules, right? So what is strategy? Strategy is nothing but your rules, okay? So again, you see different different, different uh, perspective that I'm teaching you now. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking, I'm even at a more general, at, at a more general level uh, than, uh, uh, than uh, what uh, uh, you have learned from Michael Porter's or whatever. So we are not, uh, or, you know, we're not talking about all these uh, things, all these differentiations or or cost leaderships or blue oceans or value co-creation. Uh, these are just nothing but rules. These are just nothing but rules. So, so in, in uh, competency rules, exploitative rules, exploratory rules, okay? So we are talking about rules. So what is strategy? So just strategy is just a set of rules and resources, uh, intellectual resources, whatever things that you want or, or, or whatever resources, uh, machinery resources that you can, uh, that that makes uh, 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 that ha uh, helps you align with your goals or purpose, right? So that means with strategic relevance, relevance, okay, positioning correctly, things like that. So it is a uh, uh, strategy in that sense, and it's uh, a little bit short-lived, uh, temporary because you keep on changing again and again because the environment changes. But structures, you invest a lot of money, invest a lot of systems, a lot a, a lot of infrastructure. So these system structure, infrastructure, uh, things like that, are sets of rules. Uh, and resources with operative relevance that are longer lasting and and that that operative uh, relevance uh, is uh, is not doesn't means it's not strategic it is 
it is operative. Uh, you need to make use, uh, depending on the strategy, the operative will be used in a uh, uh, in a uh, adaptable uh, different way. And that that strategy and structures, therefore, strategy and structures, therefore, are the uh, mechanism. Right? If you go into the uh, COVID cells, uh, virus cells, you can see they have their structure. They have their own decision making rules. So we have the decision making rules and directional rules plus our operating rules. And these two are interlinked to each other again and again and again form uh, our overall system. Okay, so these are, these are the uh, very unique, uh, uh, complex adaptive uh, 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 system uh, that um, uh, uh, you can apply uh, uh, the artificial intelligence or you can apply uh, uh, cultures and uh, processes and ISO 9001 and strategy. So, uh, so if you why we always look at the general, but but don't repeat it. Okay, you don't repeat again and again in your in your assignment, uh, because uh, if you repeat, you are teaching me again. You're teaching me what I teach you again. So every time when I ask you a, a assignment, you it seems like you want to be a teacher to teach me again. And you're teaching me again and again what I'm telling you. And then you say, and then this is supposed to get A in the class. I don't understand what is your point. And you're supposed to give me, uh, offer me something that is uh, 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 illustrative and unique. Okay. And, and, uh, and show me something that uh, I do not know. And, and uh, or show me some examples that has been there in China or in elsewhere in the world. Uh, that uh, that are a lot, that enlightens us that uniquely shows us uh, what is happening. Okay, so uh, whether you are inductively or deductively, or you are following certain quantitative uh, manners or certain certain qualitative manners, uh, or, or, or in in the un, uh, you can use that quantitative criteria or qualitative criteria to understand and help you evaluate. Uh, uh, your assignments that you're given to me. So uh, quantitatively, we can look at uh, things that is more consolidated, that, that things that are more uh, uh, observable, okay? Uh, uh, not interpretable, uh, not, not in the perceptual uh, uh, presentations, interpretation sense, but in the uh, 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 ability to demonstrate the, uh, the results of the company. So whether the company is achieving a stated financial or uh, objective or strategic objective, whichever strategic objectives to be positioning number one in the world in these things or whatever, uh, and above uh, of average performance. So you got to show some evidences, quantitative evidences, or you have to be able to present your uh, qualitative argument uh, in your in in your in, in your assignments or in your uh, uh, in your strategic uh, decisions uh, proposition. And so we're talking about uh, uh, the, your reasoning, uh, there is certain directions of your argument, okay? And you're talking about how completeness your arguing arguments and strategic uh, proposition is, and is, uh, it's, is uh, what you are talking about from supply say from supply chains all the way to the demand side, are they uh, internally consistent and do they relevant to uh, relevant to each other and do they relevant to your strategic goal? And so we, we are talking about all these uh, qualitative uh, qualitative criteria. So uh, you can uh, use the qualitative criteria, or you can use the quantitative criteria uh, to uh, demonstrate. And if your presentation, if you're, let's say, for example, quantitatively, uh, your financial objective or your strategic objective or uh, 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 industry performances are right here, uh, industry performance are right here, and then or your rivals uh, rivals are right here, and but you are here, and that means there are, you have a gap, and that uh, kind of a gap will indicate that you have a performance issue. When when you have a performance issue uh, on the uh, SSP uh, 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 situations that the uh, uh, understanding that we have done, right, that means that you something is wrong with your strategy. Right, something something is wrong with, uh, uh, with your strategy. So if something is wrong with your uh, with your performance, something is wrong with your strategy, and that means something maybe you are not sensing it correctly in your industry, or maybe maybe something is wrong with the uh, with the way you uh, use uh, structure, okay, uh, 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 structures and 
and, and system, okay, the methods, uh, and, and, and uh, so it, it uh, you have to, uh, you, have be, you, you have to be able to uh, uh, act on uh, input output process, which is artificial intelligence uh, will take over it if you let the computer run it. Or again, uh, your input and output, when your output is uh, lower performances, you're supposed to feedback and then reproduce, uh, reproduce your rules, rules again. We change your rules again and change your structures rules again and change the strategy rules again. And this is what we means by uh, by uh, all this uh, uh, all this uh, uh, feedback. Okay. And uh, so, what makes a powerful strategy from an ordinary weak one is that we have the ability to make a series of moves, just like football, right? Or make a series of moves that is allowing us to suit the goal, right? Both in the marketplace and internally, our company is able to do something differently in the field, right? And 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 then suddenly, and then we are able to come go to get to the goal. So this is this is a uh, again uh, not different from the figure that I have just demonstrated to you uh, an hour ago that. Uh, from the uh, purpose, right? From a purpose uh, uh, and, and your internal arrangements and external arrangements and context, VUCA, and, and then from there, your initial your past or your present. And then from there, uh, uh, your past, right? Your past is your, your team and then your present, and then you can uh, react to the futures and things like that. Okay, so this uh, it, it produces sustainable competitive. So it's not only competitive, but it's sustainable. So competitive is you're able to achieve the goal, but are you able to achieve the goal continuously again and again, sustainable way? And that again is a challenge. So how do you do that? Well, number one, people cannot see your uh, your your action, so they are not able to observe your action. So that the, you know you you can you have certain competency and certain networking and certain value co creations among the teams that everybody cannot. Eat. So value co creation is very difficult to see because everybody, uh, especially in the network area, and everybody co created. Uh, especially in this uh, network area, everybody co-created and no one's know what is going on, right? Because only the computers know what is going on. And so there is uh, this created the competitive advantage. And so this is beyond differentiations and beyond uh, cost leadership. You do not need differentiation and cost leadership. You need the ability that uh, uh, of this uh, value co-created through the network that nobody else can easily identify that uh, your uh, how you do that makes your company uh, uh, system uh, competitive as a competitive strategy implementation. Okay, so this uh, uh, very important uh, lessons uh, to bring you back to what is going on as a strategy. And so that uh, you not just uh, focus on, on uh, competency only, the, uh, because every single thing you can look at from the competency perspective, every single thing you can look at from the competitive uh, strategy perspective. And uh, uh, this thing uh, takes time to learn. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, they are all the same, they're all different. And they, but the problem is how we can explain them in such a way that can clearly find it in a very unique way. Okay, there's no particular class on competitive strategy. There's no particular class on business competency. Uh, and uh, there are only, the, uh, not a textbook, but one of the uh, book written by Michael Porter's on competitive strategy, business out of school, uh, which is as a reference for people who do research. And then uh, a whole bunch of classes and courses on strategic management uh, and uh, things like that. So no, uh, so you, you, you are in a very special, uh, classes on business competencies and competitive strategies and very unique, uh, but uh, sometimes uh, uh, uniquely uh, uh, cost, unique things is, is good, but how do you really make use of it uh, and, and generate new knowledge and that, that you need to put in a lot of effort. Okay, so in conclusions, uh, we are uh, we understand that we have a management a business model management to operate and I have given you a lot of criteria and, uh, and, 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 uh, and I have also shown you that you can transcend this business model into a, a boundary spanning artificial intelligence blockchains IOT uh, to transcend this business model and then uh, this business model will uh, involve internal issues and the marketplace issue and if you can uh, utilize your internally internal business model and go business systems properly it will generate a lot of durable competitive advantages that allow you to win in the market 
Okay, that, so this is a uh, uh, situation. And uh, there are many, many ways we can create competitive strategy. Uh, apart from all this, I have talking to uh, uh, share with you another the way of you dealing with a competitive strategy is be uh, innovative in the green area. So we are talking about we are borrowing the competitive advantage of nations model, which say that a, comp uh, a nation uh, which composed of all the industries are competitively comp uh, relative to the competitors in the world, in other parts of the world, or that the uh, that the, uh, uh, the industries in uh, nations can demonstrate uh, uh, a favorable, uh, very strong uh, factor condition, which is the input conditions, and can demonstrate a very strong uh, creative uh, demand condition. And and, uh, and and within that industries that are uh, that are supply side strong and demand side strong, but also uh, um, the clusters of industries are supporting it uniquely. In a, a value co creator sense. So, for example, in Thailand, uh, we have the very strong seafood industry. And the seafood industries, uh, uh, we know that uh, we have, uh, we, in the past, we, I mean, uh, we have a lot of the uh, factor condition in a sense of the labels, uh, but, uh, and, and, but uh, and we have a lot of the uh, sea, seafood uh, uh, resources uh, from the ocean, right, from Pele. And, and uh, so we can, we know that the world uh, demanded and Thai also loves seafood. And, and from there, we kind of having strong on both sides. But although this factors condition has changed to be more uh, machine oriented, which Thailand has started to have a strong uh, related to the supporting industries of machinery design and machinery productions, uh, like uh, uh, packed on uh, companies, uh, private business company in Thailand, which are also uh, supporting the uh, machineries uh, to all these uh, factories in, uh, in 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 the in the south. In the south. Uh, I think uh, producing surimi, uh, producing uh, sushi, and producing uh, seafood, uh, you know, uh, and things like that. And and uh, and, uh, and and all these are also uh, together with the. Their company strategy, uh, the company strategy, the rules and regulations, which I've just told you, uh, and the competitive situation in Thailand that drive the uh, competitive advantages of the industries in Thailand to be uh, or top in the world, supported by, again by the government and of course the opportunity of the world in terms of giving, uh, in terms of uh, uh, loving seafood and things like that. Uh, or uh, certain area has uh, uh, disease. Sea, uh, seafood indices and, and therefore the companies can make use of all this to generate competitive advantages or maybe they don't have traceability systems or maybe they have uh, uh, they do not have the uh, uh, ocean, uh, the uh, sea oceans as uh, as plenty as we have uh, and, and therefore they like of the chances of the of the uh, supporting the factor conditions and things like that and, and so on and so forth but then I borrow this is my concept, and I borrowed. Uh, uh, I combined two concepts, and so I borrowed uh, Michael Porter's, and I borrowed the green uh, concepts, uh, green innovations concept. I and I uh, put into the Michael Porter's uh, models, and so to turn it into a competitive strategy from uh, from the innovative sustainability perspective. Uh, so therefore, a company who wants to be sustainable. Uh, to contribute uh, profitabilities and revenues, and at the same time, so, so, so societies and and the environment, ecological environments, and being innovative, and and uh, we can exploit uh, this model to slowly, slowly strengthen our model. So it's a slowly, slowly, it's a slow process. So we do not need to uh, build the model uh, immediately. We can take it on a step by step, gradual process, starting from. Uh, following complying with the government's rules and regulations, which is called light green, and then slowly, slowly, probably we can move into the market green and what kind of organic and uh, why, you know, maybe there are certain people looking into organic and uh, uh, agricultures or, 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 or you know, safe agricultures and safe seafood and things like that. So it's a market green seafood or is a, it's a, it's a, uh, medicine free seafood or antibiotic free seafood and market green and then slowly slowly we move into stakeholders green in such a way that can ensure that our value change activities are green and then slowly slowly we move into some more uh, uh, dark green in, in is there any way that we can we can we can we can have the 
the green uh, factors, you know, maybe the green, green machinery, we can have the green uh, 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 workforce, or maybe we can have the green uh, seafood. Uh, for example, uh, uh, this green, dark green area, uh, uh, we can look at uh, examples some hamburger. Uh, so we can have uh, vegetable. We can have um, uh, we can have the hamburgers uh, make up make from a real beef, uh, a, a, you know, real beef and real chickens. But but it is not uh, uh, it's not killing it's not killing the animal. It's uh, it's a dark green that we can uh, you know uh, uh, come from their uh, uh, their the, you know gene to production uh, DNA gene productions and things like that. And so that we can. Uh, we can uh, we can actually produce uh, uh, burgers, right? And uh, uh, so it's the non meat burgers. Uh, maybe we can we can go to Google's and uh, we can go to the image, and then we can go to the non meat uh, hamburger uh, uh, things like that, and. Uh, Okay, and, and uh, this is vegan, uh, but we are not talking about vegan. We are talking about uh, 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 maybe not not the nami. I mean, uh, from the uh, some DNA, meat uh, DNA, and not so sure. I'm not so sure the terms of uh, uh, NDA. Sorry, not DNA. Yeah. And and. Uh, so uh, okay, some something like 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 that. Maybe maybe we can we can come up with uh, uh, some uh, uh, dark green. Okay, so uh, and and this is how we uh, this is how we uh, 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 becomes com uh, 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 competitiveness. So the competitiveness of industries therefore come from the uh, light green, market green, stakeholder green, and dark green. And then uh, we have to do a value call creations together and to contribute to the sustainability. And we can do in many different ways. We can do me, we were like this, so uh, overlapping, or we can start from me and then, uh, and then contributing to the we and to the world, or we can me, we was uh, 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 circling uh, uh, like a gear, uh, running like a gear together. So you you do your thing, I do my thing, you do, we do my things, and then me, we will do the things uh, uh, through the gears, so if I if I stop, you also stop a little bit. If you stop, I also stop. Or you, uh, a big company trying to influence the we and we, or you and other companies are pretty much the same skills that we can do uh, overlapping uh, and create the value cooperation. So you see, all these are all all these are uh, social psychological skill, which is source of sustainability, and these are all innovation. And, and, and through innovation, we have different strategies. So strategy here and strategy here and strategy here are different. So we are talking about competitive strategy one, competitive strategy two, or competitive strategy three. Uh, and, and we are talking about competitive strategy through uh, light green, competitive strategy through greens, competitive strategy to market green, competitive strategy to dark green, or competitive strategy to a progressive progressions from one uh, from the light green to the market green to the stakeholder green to the dark green, or competitive strategy uh, through combinations or uh, integrating all this uh, into uh, into uh, into one holistic system. So all these are uh, 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 unique ideas, and uh, that people has uh, has we have many many cases. And these are generic terms, and you can, uh, you can, you can, uh, you can uh, do it. So at least the sustainability concepts that which I uh, and demonstrate to you: sustainable, socially sustainable, ecologically green. Sustainability uh, through socially means the we, we will, uh, and, and 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 this sustainability concepts uh, at least uh, can be an inspiration to drive your innovation, and you can innovate to different areas, and 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 this. Uh, uh, and all these different areas generate different competitive strategies. So when we talk about competitive strategy, it is uh, it is uh, in conclusion of today's lesson is is your cognitive capability. So no one can sh teach you. You have to uh, learn and uh, you have to be very very uh, cognitively unique. And and uh, that's why uh, how many people is uh, is the is the strategies of the company. So the whole company is like this. It's only CEO plus a, a few people on the on the on the tops that are really really strategies. There may be a few 
uh, day on the bottoms and and uh, but the few only here so uh, not many people so who can fight with the uh, uh, Jack Ma okay and uh, uh, it's a uh, very unique I, like you, I mean everybody learn about strategy everybody learn about competitive strategy everybody learn about all kind of business competency everybody learn about uh, so many things but he is the only one that can think so 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 unique things and this unique thing means competitive strategy so strategy competitively is something very unique way of concepts that allow you to be able to uh, 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 continue to position uh, be a part of the industry and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow eventually to somebody that, that allow you to that you can uh, that, 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 that you are somebody so this is called competitive strategy. Doesn't mean in the big company, but it means that you are doing something very unique and slowly, 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 as time changes, competitive changes, as time changes, the rules changes and the rule changes and so on. So, but you have to demonstrate where are you in this particular area and where you want to go. And so if therefore to ability to demonstrate competitive strategy is a little bit more difficult. Competency is very easy. Okay, it's more because it's, uh, you, there is a scope of understanding something you're good at it. So your attitude, your skill, your knowledge and combinations to deliver certain performances, whether it's values creations or motherings or product or process developments or, or the, you know, or product developments or, or, or uh, management system designs or cultural design, all of these things you can, you can easily uh, uh, identify, but strategy. I, uh, a very intangible, okay, very intangible. So, therefore, uh, uh, good news is that uh, you uh, uh, so far and almost as uh, as I saw and as I promised, and uh, no one gets below uh, 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 B seventy. Unfortunately, in the past class, uh, previous class, there's one uh, 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 because did not meet the minimum requirement, so there's one uh, gets sixty. Uh, which uh, reduces the, but it's well, we'll pick up very soon uh, and, and cross over the B. But uh, so uh, the good things is that the uh, uh, confidence is that no one uh, should have a problems, okay, uh, in, 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 the, in the grade uh, of B uh, because you are already strategically qualified. But to be able to get A is very difficult. Even for me, to get A is also very difficult. We have to, you know, cognitively very strong and, 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 and to demonstrate in such a way that we know is, is, this is the right way. And, and, uh, and, and uh, so uh, a little bit more challenging. Okay, so uh, uh, at least the sustainability concept and your inspiration of all these issues can drive innovation. So Okay, so, uh, so I'll, I'll just quickly go through what I mean by this green, this green, and then you can read by yourself. Okay, and uh, not necessary for me to go, uh, go through all the details. Uh, you can read by yourself. So we're talking about uh, uh, government's regulations, rules and, regu rules and regulations, the minimum compliances, which is also part of your uh, 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 strategic uh, uh, sustainability starting points. And one of them uh, from the government perspective is the, to be able to comply uh, with the rules and reg, uh, the conditions is very important. So viewing compliance as, as an opportunity. So, so where is the opportunity? The comply, to comply with the rules and regulations of the government is the, it's the opportunity. So, so this, is, this, is, this is light green, this is opportunity. And we are talking about, for example, let me, let me uh, we're giving an example of light greens, for example, UK, or I mean, in Europe, they are reducing the amount of the amount of the carbons. So if, uh, amount of carbon, so if they measure the amount of carbons, uh, one gram or 10 grams of carbons coming up from your uh, volume or cubic meters of your, of your, of your, of your exhaustion, and that, that will provide penalty. They will provide penalty to you. And whoever can, uh, tap on. Yes, I'm going to design a car to follow your 
your rules and regulation, which is the light green, and, and that is opportunity. So where is opportunity? SWOT, SWOT, SWOT. So where is the opportunity? The opportunity, the green opportunity is green opportunity. And light green is one of opportunity, dark green is another opportunity, and stakeholder green is another opportunity, market green is another opportunity. The number one, the first one is the uh, government's uh, compliance. And that is where the opportunity comes from. And then slowly, slowly, you can move on to, uh, you know, making your value change more sustainable. And then, then slowly, slowly, you design a more sustainable businesses, uh, you know, sustainable, uh, more sustainable product and things like that. For example, if you look into the Thai uh, uh, a product, and, uh, product uh, you will see that uh, in the past, I mean, to, uh, to do your laundry, uh, it is not quite sustainable because you have to heat up the waters and generate the, the electricity generations and utilizations and it, uh, and customers have to pay the money for the electricity, especially in Europe, is pretty expensive. And then, uh, and then the, uh, generating the electricity and the carbon dioxide has been pumped up. It's not the ecological work, it's not sustainable. And so the tides have to come up with something that we can do the laundry and design, you know, bed down the powders in such a way that we can. Uh, do the laundries on a uh, uh, from 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 uh, using so very uh, using the cold uh, I mean the normal temperatures and so this is uh, where the tight cold water comes into the pictures and 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 then from there uh, from there you can uh, 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 you know uh, position yourselves uniquely as the uh, as a product that that is a, that 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 is a, a market green. Or, or ecological dark green, you know, or towards dark green, not yet dark green, but uh, at least uh, market dark market green, uh, you know, in, in a sense. And so that is where you position, and that is where competitive advantage is. And so you're competitively differentiating through certain unique area, but you know, you, this is how you position yourself. There's a demonstrate, demonstrate this competitive, competitive strategy. So today, I want to take this opportunity to give you a couple of examples and a couple of the uh, illustrations and telling you that it is not straightforward, but it is feasible and it is very challenged for you and for me. Uh, okay, and, and, and be, simply because there's not many people right on the top and I was part of the top uh, for uh, for many, uh, for few companies, uh, uh, 20 billion company, uh, a conglomerate company in US and in, China, in, in, in Malaysia and also the uh, seven, eight thousands millions uh, about uh, companies for uh, seafood industries. And, and, and plus, uh, of course, as uh, uh, Asia Pacific uh, uh, general managers for uh, Germans uh, companies and things like that, and uh, and so we 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 do we do uh, play the role in the strategy in the strategy. Plus, I was uh, responsible as one of the pioneers in Malaysia on robotics, robots, uh, uh, controls, educations, and and so we were pioneers in that particular situation. And uh, and and uh, then slowly, slowly you can move into uh, uh, move into a new 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 robust system, uh, new uh, business model uh, into a dark green business model, and then slowly, slowly it means your 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 factual design, your production design, your competency design. So you have to look into your business competency that is dark green. So business model, business uh, new business model is one of the dark green. It's one of the business competency in the holistic sense, but then it makes enables by technology uh, driven. So, uh, for example, we can turn the carbon dioxide into into a cement rather than uh, Sanyam cement. At this moment, we are you know bombing and you know threatening all the mountains. All, all the mountain disappear, disappear. So the more mountain disappear, the more mountain disappear, the more richer the Sanyam cement is, and this is not uh, ecologically sustainable. And so being sustainable, we have to turn into dark green. We cannot say that we are socially responsible company, corporate social responsible company, uh, that we ensure that we are, you know, not pollutions, but pollutions. Uh, you, you are not pollution. You are not generating a lot of, you are trying to uh, reduce your pollutions coming out from your factory, but the, but the, your, the, the mountain disappear. I mean, where are the mountain? If the fountain disappear and then the thunderstorms comes and the flooding comes and everybody uh, get flooded away. And, and so this kind of getting into the next frontier, which is the, uh, which is the new technologies, uh, uh, inceptions of uh, efficient use of carbon dioxide and turning into uh, this uh, uh, coral reef, uh, similar to the coral reef, uh, making the carbon dioxide into, into this. And, uh, one of my students uh, now is a PhD, uh, I think it's almost graduating from uh, Sassin. And tonight uh, he and uh, he will uh, 
uh, uh, we will have a dinner together. He will bring me to his father's house, and uh, we will share a dinners. And and uh, it was uh, also uh, uh, recently one of the, uh, the best uh, technologies award in Thailand uh, for this color read. Uh, but not not in the CO2 uh, into cement, but in the in in helping uh, the, our ocean, uh, which has deteriorating coral reef, to regrow the coral reef through 3D printing. So we are, he 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 worked on 3D printing, and uh, and I was helping him in, on his thesis in terms of uh, business research, analyzing the sort of the market segments and, and where we can get a competitive advantages and strategies on on that uh, coral reef. Okay, so it's uh, a little bit more details. You can uh, look into that. If you're uh, uh, engineering, it's probably easier to do. Or chemical engineering, probably you're understanding quite easily is what they do. It's just a, a chemical processing where you have all this uh, gas and then go through certain chemical reactions and, and slowly producing the cement, things like that. And uh, and then the, uh, and, and the other thing is the next generation platform is changing your paradigm. Uh, so we are not talking about uh, use two things in the present paradigms, but we're trying to change the whole world paradigm. Okay, and that, that is also a, a sustainability and that is also an innovation. Unless we change the world of paradigms, we are not able to, uh, to do things. And for example, why we need artificial intelligence, why we need the IoT, why we need IoT uh, cloud computing system, why we need digital uh, currency, because this digital currency is going to help us transform the whole world the connections and, and minimizing all the wastage of the of the papers and also uh, papers can be a form of disease uh, transferring and also it could help us in terms of the uh, preventing, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, defaults and uh, corruptive uh, practices or maybe uh, preventing competitive uh, skewness towards one country to another country. I don't know, uh, not, uh, a couple of reasons. But again, uh, the key reason, key issue is competitive strategy is about you have to demonstrate to them that, that there is a need for transforming your platform to another platform of paradigm. So for example, in the past, uh, people were riding on the horse carriage. And, and uh, so now we transform to, uh, to the uh, uh, car. And then people were seeing the birds flying and now we have the airplane. People are seeing the uh, divings of the whales and now we have submarine propulsion uh, uh, machinery. And so this all this are uh, uh, creating a, a new platform. Okay, so, uh, so today uh, we uh, 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 kind of uh, fin uh, uh, we'll go through all this quickly and then uh, uh, finish it and, and for Movies are very, very important, and uh, as I already demonstrated uh, a couple of days, a couple of uh, moments ago, which is about the, uh, which is about, uh, uh, which is about the the, 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 the mental models or the theories. So all these uh, theories, like uh, engines, right? We have theory, school of thoughts of one, school of thoughts of the cultures, cultural school of thoughts, or positioning school of thought, or competitive, competitive, uh, cognitive school of thoughts, or entrepreneurial school of thought, the planning schools. All these are theory. All these theories will drive your ship and shape your, your your strategy. So theories are very very important things, and uh, uh, you can look at it uh, by yourself. Uh, uh, is you you are already mature students. You can you know uh, all I uh, need to do is to uh, coach you and to facilitate you, and so that you can uh, use that theory to help you drive all kind of competitive strategies. And 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 I I have already demonstrated to you uh, uh, I example. A, 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 exam, examples on the schools of thoughts, okay, schools of thoughts, okay, and the uh, value called uh, call cre uh, creation and uh, sustainability, uh, okay, and uh, innovation. And, and uh, I have already generated uh, so many, uh, so many uh, theory to you, and, and, and the rest is just uh, giving more example, okay, but Theory is something that you have learned. It's just like something you have done, and so that you can borrow, deductively borrow it. And so when we talk about deduction, uh, that means that you are using all this theory. So when I ask you about the radical, uh, uh, your, your understandings of the, uh, deduction, and we are talking about a lot of deduction the whole day, the whole three hours, we are talking about deduction, deductions of uh, of all these, uh, all these uh, uh, different uh, different examples, uh, 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 all these uh, all these different examples. So we, we it's a deductive uh, deductive uh, 
uh, competence, competency and strategies that the whole day is we are talking about and, and, and a, a, a lot of example. All this, uh, all this, um, uh, the, uh, the theory. And, and so uh, for, uh, because of this deductive uh, 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 capability, uh, I mean, deductive nature. So the theory of business and marketing strategies are therefore normative imperative meaning that uh, people has already studied and they, I mean, they have, uh, where, where they come from, I mean, inductively, right? So before the deduction, they come from induction. So people inductively come up with a theory and then therefore we dedu deductively use, utilize the theory. And, and by that, we means uh, people will say, well, if you have learned about Michael Porter for five forces, so, so therefore in order for firms to achieve its goal by using the Michael Porter five forces theory, you should. Da, 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 da. And then you probably, uh, because you have a wrong understanding, so you use a negative uh, sum of negative sums rather than the positive sum. So you, you use wrongly. So it's possibility and all, always possibility that you have the wrong hypothesis. So you have a wrong hypothetical utilizations or deductive theory because why because we don't have the capability to understand that theory in the right way and we are only understand on the surface that is uh, that is uh, what i have to trying to demonstrate to you to, is to be careful on, on all these issues so what is theories it's just nothing but rule base it's a set of rules right michael porter has his own set of rules called value has his own set of rules uh, uh, others uh, theory has his own set of rules and, the, uh, and and but again all these rules has gone through a lot of evidences and applications so they're reliable and valid rules and and they picked up a, 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 a I learn from the data, so they are very intelligent and very insights uh, driven. And and uh, and and uh, and if we can allow uh, IOTs and Internet of Things and uh, cloud computings and artificial intelligence, so therefore eventually all this uh, theory will continue to change and, uh, and 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 digesting all these big data collections and learning. So theory will continue to evolve in that particular sense to get the researchers and practitioners. Uh, uh, storming uh, using the theories are also very important. So deduction doesn't mean we apply straight away. With deduction still need to brainstorm. Okay, so that's the reasons why you have learned a lot of uh, you have learned a lot of Michael Porter's forces. And why why you still need to uh, brainstorm? Because theory allow you to brainstorm. So if you want to use a lot of computer programming and supply chain uh, mathematical uh, simulation systems like NHP. Uh, or fancy HPs or TAPSs, uh, optimizations or neural networks or structural equations modeling, then blah, 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 blah. You, uh, no matter how sophisticated the computer systems are, if you want to use them to help you operate and design the operation systems, the production systems, or strategic uh, systems, or strategies, or rules and regulation, uh, that means you can also you also need theory. So theory is very important, and but to combine all this theory, uh, uh, because theory gives you the thought, give you the directions of thought, give you the boundaries. So the more theories you know, uh, the more you can think, and the more you can think, the more strategy can come up. Okay, so this is uh, a good things about the strategy. The on the operational side, smart automation system relying on theories can can give you a faster way to optimize the system. So because you already know the theory, you already know what happens. So you can put all this theory uh, into the neural network uh, uh, simulation. So the neural network can take on your theory as rules and regulations as input output mapping, and then and then and then you match them with the theory uh, with the data, and and then the computers will. Uh, will digest all the uh, all the learning and then every learning will associate with one theory which is a neural network will start to pick up uh, all these uh, messages and then slowly on the practical side everything will be very smart so eventually the whole world automation uh, will be very smart okay that, by that time the the the, uh, the artificial intelligence take over the world Okay, so theory platform performs uh, so many of the rule because the ability to explain the ideas so uh, and from the real data so it means that we, they can predict the future they can explain the future they can spread the phenomena they can control the phenomena and this is the uh, and they and, and because of that they can help you suggest strategies that means to influence the behavior and, and in a particular direction a particular this is what the, the performance wrote of the three and, and integratively using this will give you a, a 
consolidated ideas, which is uh, which is the engines uh, engines uh, design of the of the aircraft. I already told you. So if you integrate, configure every single theories into a perspective the engines, you can see if that you are holistically looking backward, looking down uh, from the top and looking uh, around and looking uh, below and looking ahead and looking further ahead. And so you kind of integrated nature of the concept will give you the competitive holistic strength. Okay, and to guide you to solve and optimize all this issue. And one of the issues is supply chain management, of course, uh, which, is, uh, which is just nothing but business model. There are a lot of uh, uh, these things I already told you, and there are a lot of different theories. One of the theories is called agglomeration theory in such a way that you combine and clustering uh, every every stakeholders together so that you can you can uh, you can have bigger forces. Okay, so when you agglomerate, conglomerate, uh, integrating all the stakeholders together, it creates it creates a very powerful uh, competitive. Uh, strength, a competitive under, and this is this is agglomeration theories, agglomeration strategy. It's very useful strategies. And Michael Porter's Harvard Business School uh, uh, in views of this agglomerations demonstrating that uh, you we first of all we have to we have to understand and help the uh, uh, have a re, re understanding of the market. Okay, and then uh, redefine our way of doing things, and then pull everybody together to help us make these things happen. And so there are three levels of uh, shared value co-creation. So we call create local clusters. We call create with the local production uh, farmers or whatever to help us redefine the productivity and business model, uh, and, and, and 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 therefore we deliver a better uh, market needs. And so like uh, Nestle, Nest Cafe, they, they uh, uh, through the agglomeration, re-agglomeration strategy, and they cluster uh, local cluster developments with all the farmers to uh, get, help them produce all the coffee, and then and then uh, increases their incomes and the love it, and then from there they can uh, becomes a part of the sustainable uh, uh, value chain proposition. Okay, and there are a lot of different reads. Uh, I want you to go through by yourselves. It's not much uh, you can uh, Google the rails or you can look at the, the names and adoption theory. So, uh, you know, adoption theory and those things pro you probably you have already studied in other classes. And this is just a uh, big uh, examples of couple of theories. So adoption theory is like if you study, if you study uh, uh, innovation. Uh, innovative uh, product and development or innovation uh, processes and if you want people to adopt uh, uh, adopt your innovative idea and there are certain uh, certain attributes or innovations that uh, that you need to look at it okay for example people can people try your can people try your product can people observe your product can people uh, easily adapt your product because that uh, your product innovation is not much different from the previous product where i have already have the competencies and skills that my labels and employees can adapt and work on that new machineries and things like that so so this kind of attribution uh, attributions of the of the innovations allow the people to easily adopt and diffuse the innovations and i assume that all of you probably have learned one way or another but i just want to uh, summarize, uh, give you uh, 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 that the areas of theories will drive your your strategy. So if you uh, set up the theory which uh, tells you adoption, that it, because what happened is that if you want to design an innovative ideas or innovative product and services, you want them to be easily able to penetrate into your market. You, that what you need to do is to ensure that you have a set of strategies of rules and regulations in such a way that it's easily adopt. Uh, by uh, different levels and different here uh, different levels of the uh, of the of the of your life cycles uh, customers okay and this is uh, adoption theory and uh, and, uh, and uh, there, there are other types of theories uh, for example attraction selection theory in the sense that uh, uh, what you well the uh, you know if you look into uh, strategies human resource strategies this is learning from human resource strategy in the sense that uh, we uh, you know people are being attracted to the company uh, so a lot of people go to recruit, uh, recruit, and uh, you know want to be a, to get the, the job, uh, and so they try to get interviews. But then you select a couple of those, and but then after that, uh, uh, because you're not matching with the companies, or you do not like the companies, and uh, blah blah blah, and then slowly slowly you kind of uh, you kind of uh, disappear, and 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 so this attraction. Uh, you are being attracted and then go through the selection processes and then uh, disappear from the from the environment that is also uh, that is also uh, a strategy so you allow allow you uh, 
uh, to be attracted your product and services to be attracted to the industries and and but you have to have a capability that allow the customers to uh, industries to select you as uh, the only ones that is best able to uh, to uh, uh, deliver the product and services for uh, for uh, making their life differences and from there other people will disappear and you become the winner and so uh, all this uh, adaptation of strategies uh, uh, you can uh, and, and, and you can uh, you can uh, pick it up from all different theories and generate the different ideas of strategy, cognitive dissonance strategy. If you see that there is certain gap of uh, cognitive dissonance, meaning that uh, you think differently from the customers, or customers are are not ex uh, uh, what they what they are thinking, they are not expecting from the from the customer uh, from the market, and if that is so, that becomes an opportunity. So this cognitive dissonance becomes an opportunity for. For you to uh, uh, get things uh, get things done, so, uh, different uh, situations will drive different uh, different strategies, and and sometimes you need to be uh, to uh, especially in the business ecological systems, and you you someone has to be a leader, and someone has to be a follower, and a leader follower has to play a dominant sub complementary role. Uh, not everyone can be dominant. If everyone dominates, then there is no leaders, no leadership, and when there's no leadership, there's no direction. Okay, so uh, things like that. And there are a lot of uh, uh, other types of theory you can go through. Demands resource theory is a theory which probably you have already learned from human resources development in the sense that if you want to be competitive, and uh, that means that you have to make sure that all your, uh, uh, that you have to provide sufficient, uh, 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 motivated, uh, inspired, uh, demands and uh, challenging demands, not challenge, not so challenging in such a way that everybody disappear, but challenging enough, and that is the job demands. But uh, the uh, but you have to provide sufficient resources, or cultures, or incentives, and and uh, and uh, information systems or enterprise resource planning systems. So in order, so whichever uh, demands and resources have to be balanced, uh, uh, and so this job uh, demands balance becomes a driving force. So therefore, uh, your competencies and your your opportunity has to be uh, matching with each other. That is called the job demands resource theory. And from there, you can develop your competitive strategies and things like that. Leaders, members is similar to uh, complementary and the dominant situations and 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 uh, and things. And measurement is just uh, feedback and continues to generate and reproduce your company. And multiplicity is looking into different angles and constitute in uh, just like uh, the uh, engines and organization. In printing, is just looking into the uh, the footprinting in printings of historical. Uh, historical, uh, uh, cultural uh, leadership, uh, ideologies, and core values, and 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 extending to today's, uh, which is uh, uh, organizational memory as part of your competitive advantages, and be aware of organizational inertia that uh, that something uh, that will drag your foot, uh, drag you down, uh, because because uh, because nobody seems to be interested, and nobody seems to be able to move, uh, and and probably pe people think that things are already good and things like that. So. Uh, there are a lot of uh, resource based view is VRIO, VRIO, variable, rare, inimitable, non substitutable to organize, and, and things like that. And there are a lot of uh, and swap analysis, persons, environment fit. And we have already demonstrated that your, uh, your, your whichever strategy you need to do, you got to be fitting into the environment and have a perspective uh, understanding into the futures of what kind of things that you can get from your business rate uh, investments and. And, and uh, what role would you take and what kind of signals would you like to uh, uh, deliver to your organization, to your ecological uh, members and, and what kind of resources that you need to, uh, to have additional uh, through value uh, affiliations or through partnerships or through by yourself uh, capability, capacities and, and in such a way that if something in VUCS comes into the pictures, you can uh, react properly and social capitalizations take on uh, your capitals and resources from the externals and uh, externals world and, and uh, which is standard to the social network and read a planet behaviors means that the behavior is planted and behavior is intended so intentions come from where intentions come from your behavior your attitudes uh, intentions come from uh, ability to influence each other so uh, alibaba uh, is able to use planet behavior theory as a uh, to drive your competitive strategy so what they do is they try to win through a platform uh, and, and that everybody, everybody's, uh, you know, use it, and everybody start to talk about it. And so, for example, if everybody talk about and start to talk about it, that this uh, Ali pays or this we, 
uh, these WeChat issues and things like that, and everybody starts to talk about it and start, start to form a collective normative understanding and drive the attitudes and, and, and start, everybody start to use it and becomes confidence on it. And when they form the confidence uh, on it, and suddenly we, they have a market and suddenly they have an externality. And that theory of the behavior is uh, therefore another driving force uh, uh, for a competitive strategy. So again, uh, competitive strategy uh, come from theory, which uh, uh, which is beyond just uh, Michael Porter's forces. And I hope that uh, uh, you be uh, you have to continue to learn. It's not a straightforward. You have to be able to master uh, all these uh, uh, all these uh, uh, issues. Okay, and uh, each of the theory provides certain mindset, certain uh, paradigm, certain understanding, certain concept, and and which drive your uh, thinking, which is strategies, and therefore influence your implementation. Okay, and uh, 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 is like that. Uh, this kind of thing, you can look at it by yourself. Uh, this is what I have done before. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, research on drop shipping. These are all my work, and, and, and so drop shipping is just nothing but uh, uh, a consumer uh, and, and the retailers, okay, and uh, a direct, have a direct relationship, but and the retailer has a direct relationship with the suppliers and the supplier will ship uh, to the consumer uh, uh, when, when the orders uh, to the uh, retailers. And from there, I can use the theory of planner behavior to come up with a competitive strategy. So to improve the company, uh, 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 to invest, to, uh, to, come to uh, promote and uh, attract uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, drop shipping investment. So the, this uh, drop shipping, uh, a lot of companies uh, willing whether they intend to be to uh, to be a part of the drop shipping investments, entrepreneurial shift or whatever. Uh, that really uh, that really uh, depends on the theory of planter behavior. So I need to create a situation, a platform, or a situation in such a way that uh, that I can uh, motivate. Uh, so I'm a supplier. I'm a I'm a supplier, and I need to create a Form in such a way that uh, uh, everybody come and become my drop shipper, and, and, and so that I, I become my salesman. So how do I do that? I can have a competitive strategy uh, that uh, takes on the uh, theory of planner behavior, uh, uh, theory of planner behavior, and and, and uh, drive the competitive strategies of the company. So uh, so this is uh, for example, I need to convince that the drop shippers and their and form the attitude towards startup itself, attitude towards the inventory investments, let them understand what is inventory investment, attitude towards the brand manufacturers, which is uh, me, attitude towards the, uh, the reward that they will take. And I need to make sure that they have a confidence on my supply chain and they and I, I need to build a social network system in such a way uh, that, uh, that, there is, uh, that they talk about uh, that uh, why drop shipping because there is a variety of product and services. There is competitiveness uh, and there is a, a, a trend and there is some uh, things discussed and and something preventing a uh, slowing down uh, in a negative sense could be the inactive of e retailers. Okay, and I also uh, use that uh, uh, resource based view uh, into a practice based view uh, to study how uh, uh, the long gang industry in Chiang Rai. Uh, can uh, have uh, a very uh, strong uh, sustainable performance. And that is true lean strategy uh, that they have and, and uh, competitive uh, values. And the more lean they have uh, negatively in the lean side and the more competitiveness they have and the more competitiveness value they have, uh, the more uh, sustainable uh, performance they have, which come from uh, how they manage the risk and how they manage the sustainability from various perspectives until including ecological, social, because long end uh, needs of farmers and the farmers need to be protected. And that is the ecological, uh, sustainable social issue and, and, uh, and, and, and the ecological uh, uh, farming. And competitiveness and pressure handling uh, because of uh, uh, China's coming into Chiang Rai to buy certain farms and productions and raw material and therefore certain certain pressure centering issues uh, not only from China but also from the uh, from the raw material insufficiency size all these issues uh, are a part of the uh, research that I have done before this is in Myanmar where I was uh, uh, looking into the Myanmar mailing systems in uh, in one of uh, in Myanmar's and they have a lot of small scales medium scales uh, uh, raw material mailing systems what I Found out is that if you want to, if, if I found out the raw material, raw uh, rice milling performances do come from the quality of the customer relationship. 
and, and, and also driven, supported by logistics and transportation and milling facility and capacity technology management. And, and uh, to do that, I need to consolidate competency, uh, human competency, uh, which is uh, uh, to drive the, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, quick operating best practices uh, do not need to differentiate because in Myanmar, we do not need to be different. We need to be uh, quick uh, 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 quality control. And, and human resource management cost uh, reductions, effort, supplier relationships uh, are very important, but this depends on sense and seeing sense of seizing ambidextrous already. So there are some extent, uh, Myanmar is already starting to work on sense and, and seizing, which is the ambidextrous already. Uh, uh, the, the strength is not so strong, uh, but they're, they're starting to have this kind of the, uh, some, uh, some companies do have very strong. And so that's why you can see the point two. Uh, uh, 0.11 only. It's not like 0 0.5, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Uh, is uh, so the ambidextrity is very low, but is is there uh, senses and seasons and which are uh, which is uh, which I only adapt the micro portal five process uh, as part of the implementation and and strategies of sensing and seasons. So this have to sense the barrier of entry and do they deal with it and uh, do they deal with it in this sense or deal with it in cost reduction sense or deal with it in supply chain sense and 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 uh, many many other things. And I also hope to learn uh, in uh, Indonesia and I use the artificial intelligence neural network. This is like a brain neural network. So I go and collect a lot of data, input output data from the uh, from many different hotels in uh, Aceh and in, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Indonesia. And then I run using the neural network and slowly to find out what are the best factors to drive and control uh, and deliver the best performances for the competitive strategy for the hotels. And it ends up uh, 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 is, uh, 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 some of the operations managements and organizational learnings and operations managements and customers' objective fulfillments and objective of the company and uh, and uh, and the networkings of the hotels very very important and these are uh, stimulated uh, stimulated by the uh, by the uh, artificial intelligence and, and also uh, uh, statistical uh, control system and uh, this is in Chiang Rai. Uh, also, I was uh, uh, looking into the uh, this uh, uh, this uh, pineapples uh, in Chiang Rai, and this is typical processes. And then we can use the three the planet behaviors and uh, job demand resources. Uh, this is uh, this is another theory that I use uh, in terms of competitive strategy, which is this one, job demands uh, resource theory. And and uh, so I I look at uh, what what really is the important issues driving the performances of the. Of organizational performance of the of the Hule and Langle uh, pineapples in Chiang Rai, and we found out that the uh, which really because it's labor intensive and really depends on we have to make sure that the employees are able to contribute, uh, and the employees uh, uh, job commitments and job satisfactions therefore is a very important com uh, simple competitive uh, strategies uh, in terms of operation, but that depends on I'm just looking into the production.